Hello Hacienda La Puente, this is Ricardo, one of your tech tosas, and today we are going to learn how to connect your Flipgrid to your Canvas class. Now, some people choose to just use a link, the link between uh, Canvas and Flipgrid. You can do that if you choose, but if you do the LTI integration, then what's going to happen, just to give you an idea, okay? If I go as a student, in here okay and i go to one of my assignments okay so there's there's a there's a module right here but inside of here there is a flipgrid so my student is going to click there and notice that it's going to open inside of canvas and also my flipgrid is going to be there for the student with that they uh, um, having the need to log in because it will know who they are okay the other great thing about it is that if i go to grades now okay because we have the integration with flipgrid you will notice that the flipgrid assignment is over here out of 10 points so it puts the assignment inside of speed grader so if you send this grade uh, if you grade this it will send it to aries too so it's kind of a great way to do it so how do we put this together? Let me show you really, really fast, okay? So what you wanna do, I'm going to go to a different class so you can see this, okay? So you are in your class now. You wanna go to settings, okay? Once you go to settings, you wanna go to apps. In here, there is, um, I think over 200 apps that you can integrate with Canvas. Now, some of them need to be integrated at the um, IT level. But there are some exceptions and Flipgrid is one of them. I'm going to make a video later on where I show you which ones you can do on your own. Search for Flipgrid, okay? So let's go ahead and search for Flipgrid. Okay, it's right there. So you want to click on it, okay? And you want to add the app, okay? So you want to go ahead and click Add App. And it's going to say Flipgrid. Just leave it like that because it's going to add it to your course navigation over here. But you need a consumer key and a share key, okay? How do we get that? Very, very simple. You're going to go to Flipgrid. You're going to log in. Hopefully you have used your uh, Office 365 credentials, okay? And I've done this already. So I'm just gonna uh, walk you through the steps of how to do it, okay? You want to go to your name. You wanna go to integrations, okay? And you have the option to add a new integration right here, okay? And you can call it um, for this class as my elementary class, I believe. So let's call, call it elementary class, okay? Create, and it's going to create a consumer key and a, uh, a secret, um, share secret too, okay? Uh, this is my other class right here that I have in my other um, course in Canvas, but we're using this one. So I'm just gonna copy the consumer key. I'm going to throw it in here, and I will do the same thing with the share secret. Okay? So now we have both of them in there. I'm going to add the app and it's going to tell you that the app has been added up here, okay? And then if I refresh, you will see that we are going to have a Flipgrid option now. So if you don't see it right away, go to navigation, okay? It's right here on the bottom. You don't have to bring it up to the top to show because it's always gonna be available for you, okay? But you could if you wanted to, okay? But that's how you are gonna do the integration. So I'm just gonna, I'll bring it up so we can see it. Why not, just for now, okay? So I think I write it up to the top. Okay, I'm gonna put it right there and I'm going to save. Again, you don't have to do this, but um, it's gonna just put it up there and now it's visible for the students, which you don't need to do because you are gonna be creating assignments, right? So let's say that you wanna, now you wanna create a Flipgrid assignment. Let's go to assignments, okay? Let's go ahead and create a new assignment. Let's call it, it's for my elementary. Um, uh, let's see, what did you do this weekend? That's gonna be my question, okay? We can give instructions if we want to here. Um, I want this to be worth 10 points, okay? And over here, under assignment group, you, if you have set up your assignment, you can put it on quizzes, assignments, on homework, whatever. It depends on what you've done. And then you want to go to submission type and you want to make sure that this is changed to an external tool. Okay. When I do that, I get this option right here and I want to pick my Flipgrid. 
I will be talking about all these other ones, especially Google Assignments later on. Uh, you're going to love that. But I have an option for Flipgrid in here somewhere. Sorry, let's find it. I think I, I, think I, I just kind of skipped it. It was the first one. Click Flipgrid, say Select. Okay, so we have everything set up. Um, allow unlimited attempts. You can you can play with this with the assigning to time, right? If you pick the sync, it's going to send the grades automatically to Aries. Okay, so you can do that if you want to. And now you want to save. If you're ready to um, to save and publish for the kids to see, you can do save and publish, but I'm going to save. Okay, so notice what's going to happen. What did you do this week, this weekend? It's going to ask you, connect Flipgrid to Canvas. Okay. So I haven't created a course yet, so I'm going to create a course. There it is. It just created the course. So if I was to go back to uh, Flipgrid and I was um, to go to my grids, you will see that there's going to be now a new class in here that is a Canvas one, Distance Learning Elementary, OK? But you don't have to go here anymore. I'm going to do it from here. So what did you do this weekend? It knew what my title was. I can go ahead and change the um, out from here. I don't have to go back over there and edit some of the stuff on Flipgrid. And we do have a video on how to do Flipgrid, but it's set up. You can add a topic focus. You can do different things and so on and so on. And when the kids come to your assignment, so I'm okay with it. Everything looks fine. I'm not going to change anything right now, but I'm going to save and publish. Okay. So you're going to see now that the assignment is going to be there. And now the assignment has been published. I can go to my module. Okay. I have one already here that I'm using. Okay, so if I'm not starting a new one, I can use one. Of, I want to put it on this module right here. Okay, so I'm going to go plus. Okay, remember I called it. What did you do this weekend? It's right here. Okay, I'm going to add the item. It's going to put it right there. And now just to give you an idea of what that looks like for the student. Okay, so let's go ahead and go home. Let's go to student view. When my student comes into my uh, home page, they are always going to go to get started. A calendar for the week is going to pop up for them. They're going to go to their ELA module. Okay, here it is. And notice that the assignment is right here. And if I just, I'm just going to skip to that assignment. Okay, it's going to put it right there for them. It's going to open it. There's no need for them to log in. It's right there. The kids are just, just going to click the green button to record. And um, this is just basically Flipgrid. So this is how you uh, integrate um, Flipgrid with Canvas. If you have any questions, please contact any of your tech tosas. Have a good day.